Hey guys, this is my second lesson in my Let's Learn Tinkercad series. The uh, first one we just went through the uh, Let's Learn Tinkercad lessons and kind of followed the instructions and learned how to use the tools. Um, today we're going to learn how to actually do stuff with that. And so for the first part we're going to do the, like one of the most basic easy things which is make a keychain. So we can say anything. So I'm going to go and delete out of all this stuff. Um, I made some mistakes in my first video, so I had to remake this, and <laughs> that's why that's there. So uh, we're just going to click on Tinkercad, go to Tinkercad.com. It's going to, if you're logged in, they'll pull this up. If not, remember, you have to have made an account and join my class. It's really important that you do those things, and there's instructions on how to do that. Uh, if you're just watching YouTube, you don't have to worry about that uh, if you're just trying to learn how to use Tinkercad. So if you go to the little learn tab right here, there's starters. These are how to like move and place and adjust your camera and stuff. There's a few more, like all these little things where it says projects and lessons have like extra stuff on them. Um, lessons is where you're going to have two options. So for making the key chain, there's actually some built-in lessons. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and resume this uh, that make it really easy. And you can follow these steps. And this is more of a practicing of copying and pasting, and it wants you to make the sign. And then when you're done, you can make your own name. Uh, but we're not going to do that because it's super easy. I want you to make your own. I mean, you don't have to. You can do one of these lessons. It's only five steps. So let's go back to, there's another one, key ring. It's kind of the same thing. You just go through and put in your names. I think I already put the B. And now right here, here we go. Bro, pay attention. All right, now, okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, you can do it easily this way. It's kind of like, like I said, this is more like learning how to, I'm hitting, you can use the copy up here, and then the paste again. And if you want to make use the same letter, you can also use Control C, Control V, that's what I like to do. Um, there's a lot of ways to do that. So, but we're not going to do it this way. So we're going to go back in. And if you just want to have fun, I mean, I really encourage, we're going to be working out of a lot of these lessons. Uh, there's also uh, projects. And these, these are pretty fun. So you, you'll, you might recognize the Let's Learn Tinkercad as being part. And we'll do the house one later. And we might do some of these other ones. And we'll figure out which ones we're going to 3D print. Uh, remember, the ultimate goal of this is to design and 3D print our own things. So designing your own name tag can be useful. Uh, there was once I had these cool 3D printed business cards. Um, uh, take up a lot of space, but when you give them to somebody, they're like, wow, that's really cool. And so we'll figure out what we're going to do, and you'll be able to make whatever you want once you get in the classroom. And in the meantime, we'll decide on some stuff. But let's uh, go ahead and go into... So to go start a new project, just go to Tinkercad and create a new design. Okay. So uh, I want to make a keychain, and let's see what I have here. So one of these, so I got all these shapes I can use right over here. Uh, if you go to bait, if you go here, you've got text and numbers. Uh, you've got characters. Like if you want to make little like. You know, if you want to make your keychain a robot and have your name on that, that's okay too. Uh, or a jack-o'-lantern. Jack uh, connectors, if you're looking to like make uh, little sockets like Lego type things that you can just make and build stuff with. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, that's for like making houses and stuff. That's new. Making a home. Oh. Added a lot of new stuff in here. Shape library. Okay, yeah, so see, it, it used to not be this nice whenever I used it before. So. Um, I use these featured shapes a lot. It's, the problem is they're just not really in a good order. Like right here, here's a cool like curved word one and wrap around world ones. You want to like make a cup or a cylinder and want to have some stuff on there. So uh, we'll go to all here. And so yeah, you'll see there's like walls and stuff. So like if you're making a home, you need stairs because we'll do the house thing later. Um, all these different text options, gears, um, you, the sky's really the limit, and I think there's like a search somewhere. I don't know. I'll learn more about this, and I'll teach you, because it looks like there's some favorites. 
And it might be good to take one day and like make some favorites. Like I don't know how you set your favorites. Like let's see if I like I like this. Oh, there's a little star there. Okay, so like useful. Oh wow. It's all these little cool things you can add onto your keychain. All right, I like that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna bring in one of these. Why not? I think that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna hold the white button. I think I think shift. If I hold the shift button, it can't change the ratio. See how it's all expanding at the same time? Now watch what happens when I let go of the shift button. It like You can change it to make it how you want it. But for now, I'm going to use the shift. I'm going to go ahead and edit my grid, because if you're going to actually 3D print this, it's really important that you know the size. So our 3D printer printing bed is in inches. What I usually use, depending on what I'm making, just because it's easier for most students. It's what they've used more. Um, when I do drone stuff, I usually use, um, so I'm going to zoom in here. So each one of these boxes is one inch, so I know this is about like a, let's make this a, yeah, I, I like this size. I, I want it to be maybe a little bit bigger, holding the shift button. Let's try, let's go to, yeah, two inches tall, um, one and three, hey, three eighths wide. Uh, okay, so I've got that. I'm going to go back to my shape li library. I'm going to go to basic shapes. And you don't have to do the little Saturn thing. I just think that's cool. Um, now, a uh, couple things while I'm doing this. Our 3D printer that we're going to use is very accurate. So um, it's, it's a strata, uh, or, um, Stratasys 3D printer. They're super expensive and nice. I mean, mine's a little dated. Uh, I actually kind of don't like them. So right now, notice I'm having a hard time aligning these up. I can either change my snap grid to a smaller interval, like here, go from an eighth of an inch to a thirty-second of an inch. You'll see it doesn't snap as much. Or what the better way to do this is to highlight this and use the align feature like you should have learned in your lesson. I click there and then it should be aligned, but it looks like it's not going to work because this is an irregular shape, so I'm just going to have to eyeball it. Um, right there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to raise, let's see, right now this is an eighth inch tall, which is about right. So I'm going to move this up to, let's say, a quarter of an inch, which is 0.25. What's, how many quarters going to a dollar? Four, so 25 right there, one fourth. All right. And I know this is an eighth. And I'm going to make my text also an 8. And I think just because I changed my logo, I'm just going to put my initials on this. Still going to be cool, though. Um, let's go to text. I'll drag my text in there. Definitely not going to use text that big. So earlier, I was having some issues with this. So I'm just going to type next to this JW and see if it pops up there. And then I'm going to delete out the text, OK? Uh, my name's John White, so that's my initials. Let's see what I like. Um, I don't really like that. Okay. All right. How about we just do a Mr. White instead? And yeah, I like that. So I'm going to click on this guy, hold shift, and so it keeps that ratio. I'm going to move it down. Now, I want this. There's two ways to go about this. I can either set my text on top of this thing, or I can just make it the height I want it, which I think I'd rather just make it the height I want. So I'm going to go and type in 0 0.25, because this is a quarter inch up. All right. And I'm going to move, move it down to where about where I want it, so I can see it there. All right. So I know it's a little too big. See how it's stretching outside? So I'm going to hold Shift and click this. Keep that ratio the same. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. OK. So it looks like, I don't know if this is all flat. Is this? I have to go back to my letter. So, oh, did I do something? Oh, so when I made my ratio sm smaller, it changed my height. So there I'm adding my height back to what it was. OK, so I'm going to take this. No, nope, I clicked on the wrong thing. I can tell by how that big that box was. And I'm just going to rotate it to where I want it. And about 30 degree angle looks good to me. And I'm going to put that right there. Now I can tell you just from experience that 3D printer might struggle a little bit with that. I don't know. Maybe not. I bet it could do it. Um, 
So yeah, where we have and like so, there's a, a few ways to do this. So let's go to, like, let's say we want to make like a little ring, you know, to put the key ring through. You could probably use the rings of the shape, but let's let's go ahead and put one in. I don't want this as solid. I'm going to, I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to type in, um, 0.3. And oops. 0.3. I'm going to go ahead and make this 0.25. I'm going to drag this here in the middle. Okay, and this is going to give it just like a little extra support. And then I'm going to grab this guy. Now keep in mind we can also, uh, and this one I'm going to do at 0.25, quarter of an inch. Actually, let's make it a little less. Let's do, let's do 0.2. This is what I'm going to do. Like I said, I expect you guys to do your own. Um, and so these two, I, want, I definitely want these aligned, so I'm going to click on this one, hold shift, click on the other one. Okay, see, oh wait, I think I clicked on too many things. Always watch that white box, it kind of tells you what you have selected. Okay, and you can see the blue outline there. So I have those two selected. I'm going to um, align these with the align tool. Just click on that middle spot. And see how these two are grayed out? That means it's aligned. All right, and that's basically what I want. And sometimes I do this just because, I don't know, I just like knowing that the hole's going all the way through. Once it's all done, I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to group it. And this is going to, it's going to look, it's going to all turn one color, because when you 3D print it, it's going to be one color, uh, whatever colors the filament is. Um, well, I say that. Oh, it's on multicolor right now. Um, let's just put everything. Right now, I usually use, I think I got a cool silver filament in, so I'm going to use that just so I know what it's going to look like. But yeah, so there you are. Uh, there's my key ring. Pretty easy, pretty fun. Uh, there's so many options to do with this, you know. Uh, you could come in here and make like, you know, you could connect some shapes. I could take this down to 0.25, you know, bring this out. They've got like these radius things where you can make curve it. I like steps, take the steps down to one and you get like a cool like diamond shaped thing. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Uh, and you get same thing, you can bring in a cylinder, you know. Now if I want to get this guy, I gotta ungroup it, but I might like steal my I can copy my name here. If I can find a place to click and drag it, right there. Raise it up. Put this hole in there, and boom! I've got another keychain. Super simple, super easy. But have fun with it. You know, uh, make something cool. This this, uh, this this assignment can take you a while if you make something cool, or it can take you like two seconds if you just want to get it done. I'm not going to force anybody to. Um, do it, but there's a lot, there's so many fun ways. But try to keep it uh, within the five by five. I would say like no bigger than two by four inches. Um, that you know you don't want a giant keychain on your your wrist. That'd be or like on your keychain. It'd be too big. So um, this would be a little large for me. And honestly, now I'm looking at this. If I was going to actually do this, I would take this guy right here. Oh wait, am I still grouped? I would probably come on, there we go. Sorry, it's my wife calling me. I'm here a little late because I'm about to be out of town for the next two days. So, all right, uh, I've kind of added up because that's kind of how I like my keychains. Like I like them like towards the top. Or you could even like add it out here. You know, if you add this over here, it probably won't look as cool. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, sure, we'll group all of it. Why not? And we're not doing multicolor. Nope. So there you go. You can, now you got your your keyring on the outside. That's probably more practical. All right. So 
Fun way, this is a good intro to measurement, an intro to the snap feature, the intro to the grid, intro to just doing your own thing. Uh, so I hope you have fun with it. Remember, if you're having problems, just go to those other lessons in, the, uh, in that learn section, and you can follow those steps, and it's super easy, or you can watch my video and do something cool and interesting. Uh, and I hope you guys have a good time making this. Uh, you don't have to put your name, you can put anything. Uh, so, and then if you're doing this as part of my class, go ahead and take a screenshot of what you've made. We'll have a different section later on where we'll 3D print all of our stuff out. All right, uh, I will see you guys next time.